And now, with Siouxland's most accurate forecast, this is KCAU 9 Weather. Well, even just looking outside of our cameras right now, it's kind of looking just like a Christmas snow globe. It's kind of nice. I kind of really wish we had a camera in like Sioux Falls or somewhere like Okoboji, Mallory, where they saw over five inches of snow. Not the case in Cherokee, but they did get a nice little dusting out there. You can see that out at the Baumgart's parking lot. They have rebuilt their little mounds of snow that we got rid of with the warm conditions, but we'll have to see how long these are going to be sticking around because we are going to see warmer conditions in the region as Sioux City right now shows temperatures that are hovering right at the freezing point at 30 degree degrees, a north wind at seven miles per hour, humid value at 92 percent and a dew point in the low 30s. So very saturated conditions that we've seen. And that's why you saw it a little foggy out there when we're looking out from Cherokee. Much of the Siouxland area is seeing visibility reduced to about five miles as temperatures are in the 30s and we can see that it's a dropping cooler out to our west. And I'll let you know why. They got a little bit of clearer conditions allowing them to cool off as we see dew points that are in the 30s for most of the region. So we're very near our saturation levels or matching them. So it has led to the development of a little bit of fog, but no dense fog advisories have been issued across Siouxland as we see that winds are flowing out either in the eastern areas of Siouxland from the northeast, transitioning, becoming a little bit more northern, and then more northwestern as you look west of I-29. Wood winds still hovering between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Earlier this morning, we did have a couple of 12s and 13s, 14s, and 15s, but no longer the case. But even with just these light breezes, with temperatures that are in the 30s, they're going to feel like the 20s instead. So Sioux City drops about 6 degrees to feel like 27, feeling like 24 over in Norfolk and Yankton, feeling it a little bit. They feel like 17 degrees instead, as that is the coldest location in Siouxland. Not far behind it, though, Storm Lake at 21, as well as in Orange City. Now, looking at the looping radar, you can see that cloud coverage has been moving across the area still. It's kind of just lingering there, as we see that the batch of snow showers has moved out of the state of Iowa and Minnesota, now crossing over through over in Wisconsin and then hitting over by Lake Michigan as we see that another batch of clouds is going to be streaming off the Rockies, kind of intersecting the cloud coverage that we see here. So expect clouds to stick around as we see that rogue conditions in the region have been improving significantly since the morning hours. So earlier, the very far corner of northeastern Nebraska was seeing a purple, so they were showing travel not advised, but they've since improved greatly, with much of Iowa showing now clear roads again. And you can see that the metro is looking pretty good as well, here in Sioux City at least, as the stormcast shows that we'll see that low moving out and we'll see clouds sticking around through the rest of the day today and into the evening. Now as we look at the overnight hours tonight heading into Saturday morning, we start to see clearer conditions around sunrise and then as we head to, through the afternoon, we'll be seeing a little bit of sunshine through the late afternoon and clearer conditions through the evening, which is going to make it a, for a chilly start to the day on Sunday. Now, temperatures today in the mid-30s for highs as we see shifting breezes with overnight lows that will be falling down to the mid-20s as we expect another batch of fog to develop. So it's going to be a little hazy through tomorrow morning on top of the cloud coverage that you should expect with a 9 on 9 that shows temperatures that are in the 30s but progressively getting warmer. You get upper 30s on Saturday, Sunday with more sunshine here as we see that 40s are expected for Monday and Tuesday, but they also come with rain chances, so a little bit of a dampener on it as we see that as temperatures drop right around the midweek next week, we'll see that it's not only going to be feeling colder, but we'll see that it might be looking wintry again with another batch of snow showers, Mallory. 